Electronics. So in this video, we are going to see a recruitment news from TIFR, that is Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. So they are actually recruiting for a particular project called India Based Neutrino Observatory or INO and they are recruiting for various categories for this project. Okay, so we are going to see all details regarding this recruitment from TFIR. Okay, so applications are invited for the following post for India Based Neutrino Observatory project. And the candidates who are getting selected has to work in this INO locations either in Madurai or in any INO locations. Okay, that can be around all over India. So the posts they are recruiting are, first one is Project Scientific Officer Electronics with one vacancy. And second one, Project Scientific Officer B Detector, then Project Scientific Assistant Civil, then Project laboratory assistant electronics wiring and assembly again having one opening okay so this is the various uh, categories and opening details the, the age limit is below 28 years for all the categories okay now the pay details the consolidated pay including hra is like this for project scientific officer c electronics it is 75500 so the salary of the pay scale is really good next Project Scientific Officer Detector 61,500 Then Project Scientific Assistant Civil 46,500 Project Laboratory Assistant it is 30,800 is the pay scale or the consolidated pay and also they have given a separate column for HR you can see all these things in the screen now okay next talking about the qualification requirement first for Project Scientific Officer Electronics you require a qualification which is full-time degree in engineering that is B or B tech in electronics or electronics and telecommunication from a recognized university with 60 percentage of mark that is B, B tech in electronics or electronics and telecommunication with 60 percentage and also you require minimum one to two years of experience in designing and debugging of high speed analog and digital and VLSI circuits okay so if you have a, a, a experience in this area you are eligible to apply and it is desirable to have a knowledge in electronics and data acquisition systems also okay and also they have given a detailed description regarding the job requirement that you can see in the notification okay next for project scientific officer detector you require full-time master degree in science that is msc physics msc physics is preferable okay from a recognized university again with 60 percent of mark okay it is not asking any experience next project scientific assistant civil Qualification requirement is full-time diploma in civil engineering with 60% of mark. So they are actually uh, recruiting for various categories. It is for diploma people, for B, B tech and for MSc. So all these people are actually eligible. Okay. Next, experience requirement is 0 to 2 years experience. That is from freshers to 2 years of experience person can apply. Next, project laboratory assistant qualification is full-time HSC with 60% of mark and two years of laboratory experience or national trade certificate awarded by National Council of Vocational Training or national apprenticeship training awarded by National Council of Vocational Training. Okay, so you can see all these things now on the screen. That is the qualification requirement for project laboratory assistant. And also, Desirable experience only they are asking. It is not compulsory. Experience in electronics board wiring and assembly. So it is actually for the electronics laboratory. So if you have a similar experience and then, then it is desirable. Okay. So these are the qualification and the requirements. And also talking regarding the selection process. They have not really mentioned what is going to happen. There can be interview or there can be test. But they are only mentioning like recruitment process. That if you are, if you are eligible with all these qualifications, then you are uh, permitted for the recruitment process only the, this thing they have mentioned okay now talking about the application procedure you can either apply online or you can apply offline both options are available so online applications has to be submitted by january 9th the last date is january 9th or you can also submit by post and again your post should reach there on or before january 9th okay so that is the application procedure and for applying I'll be sharing the link of application description. Okay, so you can directly apply from that link. And also they have given several general instructions for your information. I'll read out it for you. Okay, 
So the selected candidates has to work in any location of INO. That thing we have already discussed. Next, this post, uh, there is, uh, this post is actually temporary, but it will be renewed every year and it will go up to a maximum of three years. So if you are getting recruited, this job is maximum for three years. Okay. Further, is it extendable or not will be actually depending on the organization. In this certification, they have given like this. Okay. And also you have to work in shifts on Saturday, Sundays, all these things they have mentioned in this notification. Okay. So uh, there is also no fees for applying. There is no fees uh, they have mentioned in this notification. So it is free of course. So if you think that you are eligible, you can always give it a try. Okay. Because this is a very good opening and the salary, the pay scale is very good. Okay. So if you have these qualifications, then please do give it a try because you don't get uh, a lot of openings during this time. Okay. So this is a golden opportunity. So if you think that you are eligible, please do apply for it as soon as possible. The last date they have mentioned is January 9th. Don't wait till that. Please do apply for it as soon as possible. Okay. So if you think that you are eligible, please do apply for it. And please do share it with your friends. And if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.